So guys, we are out hiking today. Just a short hike in really low light. I'm filming with two cameras side by side. One is pretty old and uh, one is pretty new. Uh, the one camera has optical stabilization and the other has mechanical. Um, it should be a massive difference. I'm filming in 4K30 on both camera. The one camera is from 2015 and the other is from 2021. So there should be a massive difference, especially in the stabilization and quality. One can shoot in wide with the wide lens and one crops in a bunch. So it's gonna be fun to see how good these cameras are side by side. One camera has face tracking, the other, the other camera has no camera at all, uh, no screen at all. Can you guess which camera is what? And how are the performance in low light? I'm walking in quite dense forest now, so, uh, and I can see the face tracking is lost on the one camera. Let's see if we can get it back. It's on. Okay, I have Sony X3000 on your right or left and the DJI Pocket 2 side by side. Filming in 4K, I know that the Sony it's a really good camera. I'm really pleased with it. It's an old action camera, but I love the footage from it. And it's pretty easy to use. It's small, it's lightweight, but as the Pocket 2, it can't handle rain and moist. So both the camera are pretty similar in that way. Uh, but of course there are pretty big uh, difference in uh, the image quality should be and especially the stabilization so we're gonna see now how good the cameras are in sharp sunlight so let's switch the pocket to and turn around my Sony X3000 I'm pretty sure it's really blown up especially on the Sony camera. But how are the footage looking? It's really low light now. So I'm pretty sure it's pretty difficult for both camera. The sun is really low on the sky. I'm using the wireless mic from DJI. It's a pretty good mic. I tried it side by side with the Rode Wireless Go 2. The Rode was better, of course. It's at least twice the price, but this is the view. Let's flip the camera and see if the face tracking is on. Okay. So I'm shooting in 4K30. I know that the Sony is probably cropping pretty much into my face and uh, the stabilization should be not that good. It's pretty good, I think. I like the optical stabilization, uh, but of course there should be a massive difference. We are walking into low light again, so let's see how the footage look like. And I can see that the face tracking on the DJI Pocket 2 is losing me once in a while especially when you're walking into different lighting condition. But the image quality is really good. The only thing I don't like on the Osmo DJI Pocket 2 in normal color profile, I think your skin looks pretty strange. So uh, it looks a little bit artificial, but uh, I recommend to shoot in this inner light and grade it a little bit looks much better so 
This seems like the Pocket 2 is still tracking my face. The Osmo Pocket is just to point the lens to your face and you know that you are in, uh, in frame. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna walk this way and I'm gonna change to 1080p on the Sony FDR just so you can see how much wider it is in 1080p versus 4K. And let's see how the stabilization if there are any difference. Optical stabilization is pretty simple. The lens is moving around and stabilizing your moves. On the Osmo Pocket, no, the DJI Pocket 2, it's mechanical, so it should be smooth. Oh. So uh, now I'm gonna show you my spot. I love to sit here once in a while and drink a cup of coffee. Let's turn the, that was recenter. Flip it, and that's pretty overexposed. Let's turn the Sony FDR so you can see how it looks. It's 4K on both camera, side by side. Should be a massive difference in image quality, of course. One camera is six years older than the other one. Let's see. It's pretty windy. I'm using inboard mic for that. We're gonna test the inboard mic on both camera in really windy condition soon. But this is my view. I think I'm filming in the center like on the DJI. I hope so. I think so. This is beautiful. It really is. But this is a place where I really love to hike. Let's walk this way. Just go into and how are the stabilization side by side? I'm trying to keep the Sony as still as possible. I'm using a pretty small handheld gimbal on it. I have another one but I couldn't find it so yeah this is a really nice place. People are sitting here and making bonfire and just enjoying themselves. It's a really, really beautiful place. It really is. But we're getting closer and closer to fall now, so the weather is gonna change pretty soon. But we had incredible, beautiful weather in Norway for a couple of weeks now. It has been a little bit windy, so I haven't flown my DJI Mini 2, but I don't use the drone so much anymore. It's uh, not the same as it was before. It's a bunch of crappy video out there with drone flyers. I only follow small drone channels because they are only filming their home place. So that's what I really enjoy to see. Not a bunch of reviews all the time. Yes. Okay guys, let's uh, try the inboard mic and switch to 1080p on my Sony. Okay guys, let's do just one more test. Uh, this is the inboard mic on board camera. It's really windy and uh, so it's probably it's pretty difficult for either of the camera to pick up any kind of uh, good, for a good, mic, a good audio. But uh, this is the audio from the Sony FDR X3000. It should be a pretty good mic. I know that the Sony X3000 has a pretty good inboard mic, much better than GoPro and uh, Osmo Pock DJ Osmo Action, but um, it's gonna be fun to hear how the sound is compared to the Pock 2. This is the audio from the Sony X3000. Testing 1, 2, 3, testing 1, 2, 3. I'm talking in normal voice. This is the audio from the Pocket 2. I'm holding the camera in the same uh, distance from me, but this is the audio from the Pocket 2. Testing 1, 2, 3, testing 1, 2, 3. I know that the Pocket 2 has four inboard mics. Should be much, much better. I'm talking with a normal voice. 
but this is the audio from the pocket 2 testing 1 2 3 testing 1 2 3 this was just a short test uh, side by side test with the sony x3000 and pocket 2 so i uh, see you on the next one remember to subscribe thank you bye bye